Now, it's even more important than we realise to get our kids moving. New research from Europe suggests that childhood exercise has a protective effect on health in later years. It's also been shown to improve brain power. Joining us in the Harvey Norman Lounge, Richard Betty from Exercise New Zealand. Good morning. Good morning. So this, let me get this straight. So exercising when you're young, it can actually improve your fitness as an adult. Yeah, and it's, it's really interesting. There's lots of evidence to suggest that children, when they're exercising, obviously has benefits while they're children. It can reduce obesity um, and it can help their functioning as, as they're a child. But actually this new research says that irrespective of how active you are as an adult, it will actually give you a protective effect. And not only in terms of your function as an adult, but even right through to things like Alzheimer's when you're getting into your later years. And just by being active as children. Right, so we're t it's too late for us. Yeah, it's probably a bit too <laughs> late for us. Well, if we weren't active as children, so you've got to sort of remember back, what did I do as a kid? Was I running around outside lots or was I the one that inside watching TV? I was definitely around, running around lots until I found boys at about age 14. Then that all changed. Um, what about fitness improving the brain? How does that actually happen? Yeah, this one's really interesting. So um, what it appears is that the brain doesn't completely form until around 20. And there are two things you can do to help the brain, one of which is just get blood flow to it. And yeah. so exercise will actually help the brain, particularly in the hippocampus, which is really where you do a lot of cognitive thinking and so again the research has shown that by simply being active as younger uh, children, it actually helps people later in life. And so people are actually more productive and more effective in their jobs, again, regardless of how active they are as adults, simply by being active as children. Active, active. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, and fa funny enough, there's a new research just out of uh, Auckland University talks about it doesn't even have to be long. Again, it's that intensity thing. So 10 minutes of what they call high intensity interval training can be enough. So it's really, really interesting space. So what sort of thing are we talking about? Like just letting your kids go for a run around the block or push so them outside? Or? Part of it is around intensity. So th that, that's the key part because because the, the guidelines in New Zealand are all around a moderate to intense activity for an hour. And a lot of adults would go, whoa, that's a lot. But yeah. actually for kids, that's very normal. So again, it's really trying to encourage them to have at least an hour. In New Zealand, the guidelines are actually three times a week. Um, but for in Europe, they're actually every day. Um, so again, if you think an hour a day for activity, and then on top of that, they should be as active as they can as often as they can. So mm. really reducing sitting time, reducing time particularly in front of screens. Yeah, which they all spend far too much time in front of. Yeah, now. absolutely. Uh, we can all be guilty of that. Now the UK, um, they're doing not, not particularly well at this hour. Nearly 20%, is this right, of 10 to 11 year olds in England are obese. Yes. I mean, how do we compare with that? In children, we're a little bit better, but it's not something to be too proud of. We're 11%, which is around one in nine. Um, but the problem is once we go to adults, it's, it's about 32%, so it's almost one in three. Mm. Um, and so it just shows that it's it's something that's there. It's getting a lot worse. I mean, I, I think back, and I'm probably ageing myself now, but I think in school there was the fat kid in class. Yeah. You know, there was one fat mm, one. person mm. within that, within most classes, or one or two. But nowadays, you know, you can go to a sports field and you see a number of children who are clearly overweight, and that is becoming way more normal. Um, and that's something we need to deal with. So what about if your child doesn't like exercise, if they, they sit themselves in front of the screens? I mean, how do you actually encourage them to get out there and do something? Well, I think one of the best things that you can do is first of all, role model it. Um, and you know, for some, for some parents, that's gonna be a challenge. But again, it's, you know, think about your children. If you don't wanna do it for yourself, do it for your children. Um, but also to normalize it because we all know kids and you know, certain a lot of parents will say, oh, you know, little Johnny, he's always running around. Exactly. If you can let them do their thing, then a lot of children will naturally gravitate to being very active. But you've really got to then focus on the ones, well, what about the ones that don't? So that's mm. find them an activity. It could be a sport. Um, for some kids that aren't more sporty, there's even, there's even gyms in New Zealand for children now. Right. Um, which is really exciting. It's one of the first in the world. So, um, so only for children? Yeah, absolutely. And they, they start with as, as young as seven months right through to 13 years called My First Gym. And it's a really fascinating space. And what they do is they do a whole lot of activities, you know, everything from uh, dancing, they even do yoga. And they, they do yoga for the mums as well, so you can join <laughs> in together. Um, they do kids' parties for their birthdays. And you think of, you know, the older alternative is to go to a, a fast food restaurant for a kids' party. But imagine mm -hmm. if you go to a gym for kids for a, for a party. So, yeah, you still get to have a birthday birthday cake, we get to play afterwards, which is again, normalising that activity, that, would be that fun. being active, yeah. And we're not really talking fun. about going, making them do a workout as in you'll do this many press-ups, it's just no. about having the well, fun part the, the, the terminology they often use is around movement, so yeah. you know, we think of gym as, you know, gym with, with equipment, a lot of, this is a play space, and so it's about normalising movement, encouraging movement, jumping, running, playing, because again, that's thing that children want to do naturally, and we really need to mm. encourage that. And you're saying three times a week for an hour or so? Yes, exactly, that right? so that's the minimum in terms of the moderate to intense right. stuff, and then on top of that, as active as you can, as often as you can. Right, just have them run around as much as they can. Oh, absolutely. Get yeah. off your devices, go outside and run around the house five times. I yeah, haven't exactly. noticed that before.
go and run around the house five times. It does something anyway. Hey, that's fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us today, You're Richard. You're welcome. Now, you can go to the Exercise New Zealand website for more ideas and advice around fitness.